Hey BBs, it's Plastic, and today I'm back with you guys for another video. How are we all doing today? Hope we're all doing super, super, super fierce. In today's video, y'all, we are sitting down, we're ghoul chatting, and we're catching up on some new doll releases. I haven't done a Slayer Nay type of video in about, like, two months. I think the last one I did was for, like, Black Friday and that drama, and since then, we've had a couple more doll stuff. The doll world, the doll aisle hasn't really changed too much, I feel like, since then. I mean, there definitely have been some, like, new drops and new leaks and new, you know, prototype, not prototype, like, stock images and stuff um, to talk about and some new brands, even, that are coming out. Um, so that'd be kind of fun to just, like, chat out with you guys now and kind of catch up. Again, it is, what, like, it's supposed to be March. It's, like, late February. I'm trying to, how do I get the date? It's February 21st as I'm filming this, so it's February. <laughs> We're getting somewhere in the year, Ma. Um, and yeah, not, again, not, there's not too many dolls usually in the beginning of the year. Um... But we're here, and let's just chat about them. Again, it's been a while. I feel like since I've been in this area as well, so I'm excited. Um, but let's get into the doll. So the first one I want to just get over and done with, um, because I didn't include this in my last Slayer Night type of video. Um, and, like, I just want to, like... I already made a whole video on these dolls, and I'm going to make it very, very short and very, very sweet, because I think... If y'all if y'all follow me on Twitter, if you follow me on here, if you like keep up with the content, I have been talking so much ish about these dolls, and it's the Rainbow High Slime dolls. I'm just gonna tell y'all quickly and easily, these are dolls a hard pass for me. I feel like these are super old news by now. These have been on shelves for like three months. Nobody cares about these dolls anymore. And I wanna get out one last time, because I promise y'all I'm not gonna talk about them too much more anymore. These dolls are some of the ugliest Rainbow High dolls I've ever seen in my entire life. And I'm not even trying to be funny. Again, like, the hate train is already kind of left off and it's kind of doing its own thing, whatever. I just cannot see a single thing that's fun about these dolls. These dolls are just incredibly mid. I do think Sunny is really pretty, but that's kind of it. And again, I made a whole video on these dolls. Um, just booty, booty, booty. Sad, trash, booty, booty, booty. Um... Violet's horrible. I've seen Violet in person, and she is the ugly, like one of the ugliest dolls I've ever seen. And I'm not trying to be like I'm genuinely not trying to be funny right now. There is not a single thing about the doll that like I'm a Rainbow High completionist, y'all. Like I complete my lines. Like I'm a, you know, with the Rainbow High dolls, but like I cannot see anything that's even like potentially good about this doll. Like even her face is just horrible. And Ruby's Ruby's Ruby. Ruby's gonna be ugly anyway. Like it doesn't really matter. Skylar's kind of cute though. I will say like I like her little hair blend. Amaya's ugly. Amaya's always low-key been ugly. Amaya's had one doll that was cute, really, really cute. It was her basic one, the white hair one, um, but she aged like milk because Rainbow High was horrible at that time. And then the, the new one that the new one that I thought was really, really cute was the Fantastic Fashion one. I really do want to, I'm gonna get that one so soon. But, um, yeah, this one's awful. And then Jade is, I don't care. But we're gonna get that out of the way again for this Slayer Nay type of video. Um, and they're a big nay. Um, the next thing that I want to talk about is actually like a whole new brand that's coming out and this is Decora Girls. I haven't really, I don't think I've said anything on any social medias about these dolls because I personally don't really know my thoughts and feelings on these dolls yet. I feel like there hasn't been enough content to really allow me the space and energy to really get into them. I've been really apprehensive about collecting new doll lines for a while. I always want to get a new new doll line. Like, I remember last year, I really, really wanted the Fresh Beats dolls. Those dolls were so adorable, and they kind of came out mid-2023. But since that time, I have not gotten a single one of them yet. And I kind of feel like it's going to be the same thing for these divas. I think these are something that I'm going to appreciate from afar. They're really, really cool. They have two different, like, waves of them. So, like, these are ones that are on screen right now are, like, the mini dolls. These dolls have rubber clothing. I think they have nylon hair, if I'm right. I don't know if I'm right or not. Um, They have, like, real hair, and they have a bunch of stickers. They're obviously very remnant of decor, fa decor fashion. Decor fashion? Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below, please. Um, But I think these minis are really, really cute. And if I did get the minis, I would... I think these are, like, blind... Are these blind packages? They might also be $10 USD. I don't know that much about them, to be honest. Again, I've been very far looking at these from a very far. Um, um, Because I haven't really been connected to the doll community in a minute. These are, I think the minis are cute. Again, they're probably not for me personally. Um, but the dolls that I would actually be interested in, like, collecting really, really heavily would be the fashion decor girls. These are, like, the fashion doll versions of them. And these are cute. Um, I will say the proportions of these dolls look a little bit kind of... The heads are giant and the bodies are very twig-like, which is fine. I think the bodies are, they're kind of like tiny for how big the heads are. I feel like these dolls would be very top heavy. And again, I don't know. I have not seen these dolls in real life. I haven't really even watched a review of these dolls. I've only seen like pictures, like the stock, like the pictures they post on Instagram and like pictures from like the toy fair. So maybe they're not top heavy and maybe I'm just like making that up. But like in my mind, these give like very diva stars kind of energy, which isn't a bad thing, but 
I don't know if I'd super be into them. I do think they're really cute. Like I'm looking at the one with the blue, the blue curly hair. Do they have names? Also, I have no idea if they have names. And she's really taking it. Like she's really cool. Um, cool. She's cool. Um, but I don't know. Again, it's kind of hard for me right now in this time. Like at this point in my life, like I'm, you know, kind of. And not that I'm not into dolls anymore, but I'm really just focused on the dolls that I've really been into. Like Monster High and Bratz is kind of again like my big thing right now. Um, and I just don't know if I can see these really in the mix. I don't know if I could see these fully in my collection, but I'd definitely be willing to give them a chance if I saw them in person or if I saw some maybe more reviews. But again, it is kind of hard for me personally to get into a new doll brand and a new doll line because it's just a lot of like space and money and time. And I don't really know if I am feeling the super big connection with these dolls, but I do think they are really, really cool. And I'd love to see them in store shelves. So I'm not really giving them anything right now. I'm just kind of giving them like... They exist and I'm kind of keeping an eye out. I do follow the Instagram and I've been keeping up with all the posts. And again, I think the dolls are really cool. I love the designs. I'm just not sure, again, if they would be personally for me. But I definitely do see the appeal in these dolls. Like the fashion is really, really cool. I really, like every single one of these dolls has a really nice design. But like there's something missing for me and I don't know what it is. But I'm intrigued by them. So I'm going to leave it at that, okay? I don't want to dig myself a hole because I might end up liking these. But I don't know. I don't know yet. Um, what are y'all thoughts about the like, decor girls? Because I'm dying to really know. I feel like the community has been very quiet about these dolls. Um, another kind of thing that's kind of random was the mermaids. They they came back for one line. These are the slumber party mermaids dolls. These dolls are cool, but like they're kind of confusing. I say they're confusing because I'm not sure what their release is. I think these are going to be like UK release exclusives or overseas for America. Again, I don't exactly know, to be honest. I'm not super into the Mermaids line anymore. Sorry. I got the Winter Waves one and I love them. I got uh, the Core Wave and I like m half of them. Uh, there's Chanel and the one with the curly hair, the uh, purple one, the Rockstar one. They've been under my bed for a year now and I've not really thought about them. Mermaids is a line that I'm going to apologize to the three Mermaids fans out there. I like, but I wish I just liked them from afar. I feel like the Mermaids line is a line that I I have in my collection and I enjoy them, but I don't know if I really care to collect them or even go out of my way to like think about wanting these Slumber Party ones. I think they're fun. I just, again, the Mermaids dolls are just awkward and they're weird to hold and they're heavy and they're top heavy and they're just very awkward dolls. They're very pretty. Don't get me wrong. Like, I love the ones I have. I love the Ariana Grande one. I love the Winter Waves line. Like, they're stunning dolls, but, like, they do scare me sometimes. And I just don't know if I really care that much to, again, have somebody import these dolls for me and export them and do the whole drama. But, again, I don't think these are coming to the United States as of right now. Keep an eye out, I guess. I don't think that's even gonna be a thing, but, um... I, these are kind of random. I think these are probably just like they already had the dolls produced and like the mermaids line got canceled and they're like, oh, let's just shove them out anyway. Um, the dolls are pretty. I do love, I love, love, love the three in the middle of this picture. The other two are kind of mid. I think the ponytail, the bubble ponytail one is kind of sad. And then like the third, like the one on like the end and end is like, oh, she's fine. Like she, I don't really get her color scheme to be honest. I think the yellow is kind of ugly. But I love the three in the middle. The girl, like the pigtail girl with the micro braids. I would, I would, I would, I would go a little bit crazy. I would honestly. And I wouldn't go out of my mind to get this doll. Like, I'm not going to lose my mind to get this doll. But, like, if I saw her at, like, a Target for, like, 20 bucks, I'd buy her. Same with the other two. Uh, I like the, the gamer one. The gamer one is really, really cool. I think she's kind of fun. She's very simple. All these dolls are very, very simple. Um, but she's cool. And then I love, love, love the one with, like, the big poofy robe. I think she's darling as well. I don't really understand her hairstyle. But, um, that robe is... That would have... That robe... That fur coat, I don't really know what the T is of that. That would have dominated the Rainbow High Restyles in 2022. I'm telling y'all right now, that would have been on every Bratz doll, every Monster High G3 doll. That coat would have turned Mermaids around to the best-selling doll brand. Like, I'm telling y'all, like, it would have gone crazy. But, um, yeah, the Mermaids line is back but dead. I don't really know. I don't have any answers. But, um, the one in the middle is my favorite. But, I yeah, I don't think I care enough to lose my mind over these. I'm probably not even going to keep my real mermaids dolls like the ones in my collection. Like, I'm I'm very, very um, apprehensive on still keeping them. Again, I've just been really into Monster High and Bratz. Like, those are my only, like, those are my children. Those are my babies. Like, I love my OMG dolls. I love my Rainbow High dolls. But, like, I don't know. I, like, I don't really care about a bunch of, like, new doll brands. You know what I mean? Like, and I keep, I keep, I, every video, every single video, I say the exact same thing of I only want Monster High and Bratz dolls. Um, so y'all are probably sick of hearing it, but that's just my, that's where my headspace is at right now. But, um, yeah, good for them. But now we're talking about Monster High. <laughs> we're talking about Monster High. We have majority of Monster High to talk about for the rest of this video. So grab that, 
the Monster High, what are they, I don't even know a pun for Monster High right now. Grab some bookies and let's get crazy. Okay, so the first thing I want to talk about, uh, again, these are kind of dated. These are the Monster High crew productions that are coming out and I want to say springtime. The first three pictures and the first three dolls are from Paul March. These are, that's where I got the pictures from. Um, so we have actually Abby. Um, and these dolls got leaked, oh gosh, a while ago. Back in, I want to say like mid-November. Is that correct? Is that okay to say? Um, do you remember the exact moment and place I was when these pictures came out from Paul Mart? Um, and it's kind of fun. It's kind of cute. Um, it was like one of the first times I was really like getting to know my partner and everything. So that's kind of nostalgic in that way of like, this is very early on in a lot of things for me, but, um, it's cool to kind of see this. Um, I forgot these dolls were actually coming out, to be honest. I remember Ghoulia was coming out, but I know Abby's getting a reproduction. Abby's reproduction looks cute. Abby's reproduction is eating. Abby's fine. Spectra is where I have an issue with. Spectra has polypropylene hair in this doll line, this drop, or this variant, or this crew production, whatever y'all want to call it. Um, and honestly, whatever. I don't care. I'm probably gonna buy- I have Abby and Spectra out of box, like their actual original dolls from my childhood. Um, so I'm probably gonna get the crew productions just to keep in box. If I do get any more to get out of box, it would be like an Abby to keep out of box, but I kind of already have an Abby out of box, like the original one. So for those two, I would only buy one of each to keep in box. If I do that, I probably will do that because I am crazy like that. But, um, I enjoy, I really like Abby's reproduction. Again, I think Spectre is a big disappointment using polypropylene on a alumni doll is very sad and horrible. Mattel, y'all know better. We, I don't even know, like y'all dealt with Polygate and, okay. Um, I think there definitely have been other saran colors that we could y'all use. Like, I wouldn't even be mad if they chose to go to the school, the ghouls out route of Spectra when she kind of had a darker purple for her hair, as long as it was saran. I don't know. Or just don't reproduce Spectra. Actually, I'm not going to say that. I have our original doll and I'm happy with the original doll. But um, yeah, I think the reproduction of Spectra is sad. But then we do have a good, we have a saving grace in this first three lines. We have the Gulia. I'm buying at least two. At least two. Like, I don't know what to tell y'all. I've been wanting an original Ghoulia like this for the longest time. I have the 2015 version of her, that re-release, but the 2015 re-releases of the Monster High Core dolls are very, very cheap and very, very sad, and they're not dolls that I'm ecstatic to have in my collection, to be honest. So this is the perfect opportunity for me to own, like, an original, like, Ghoulia doll at a very cheap price. I've been wanting this little bag on, like, that she has like, her core bag for the longest time. I'm just so excited about this Ghoulia doll. Like, she has saran hair. She has a really cute mug. Her mug looks pretty identical to her, the original. Her outfit looks uh, practically identical to the original. Like, Monster High, they always know how to do a good reproduction low-key, and this Ghoulia is no doubt of that. Like, no issue of that. I'm getting one to keep in box and one out of box, and if I get another one, it'll be for the fashion pack to get an original doll on eBay and, like, redresser and everything to have, like, an original Ghoulia with the original face. But, um, for now... God, I'm so excited for this doll. Like, this is one of my most anticipated dolls from this year, to be honest. And it is a reproduction, which is kind of telling y'all the doll world right now is kind of getting sad. But um, I'm so beyond excited for this Ghoulia doll. I'm so excited for a crew production. I've been waiting for this moment for, like, two years. Like, ever since we got, like, the the um, the um ones from, like, 2022, I've been waiting for Cleo and Ghoulia. And we are finally there. We have finally made it out of the tunnel. And I'm so, so, so excited. Ghoulia is 100% a sleigh for me. I'm so excited to get this doll again. She looks amazing. I'm excited to see the stock photos for these dolls when they are released. Um, we've been seeing some in-person reviews of these dolls. And they look so good. So I'm so, 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 again, excited for Ghoulia. Um, and then we have another gag. We have Cleo and Deuce. And this is a picture from Cleo Denial on Instagram. And I'll have a link in the description below for them because... Actually, Palmer might have posted a picture already of these, but um, I already took a screen cap of this from the You Love It store, so we're just going to use this one. So thank you, Cleo's, Cleo's Nile, for this picture. Smooches. Cleo and Deuce, they're kind of eating it. I think Cleo's bang is a little bit long in this reproduction, but that's what I have hair cutting scissors for, and I'm telling y'all I'm probably going to buy at least two packs of this, maybe three, because I might, I want to get like a variant of Cleo to like cut her bang shorter, but I'm also crazy and I don't think I need to do that, but I am so excited for this pack. Again, another very, 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 very high release in my brain. I have never owned an original Deuce doll. He didn't even have a reproduction from 2015, so I never really even got the chance to really own him. Um, and I d honestly didn't really care for him. I mean, I am excited for original Deuce. Like, trust me, I have original Holt Hyde, and him and Deuce are gonna look good together on the shelf, but I am so beyond excited for this reproduction again. Like, I'm amazing. Uh, Mattel, y'all ate it. Y'all ate it down because these look 
pretty good. I think Cleo's face, it doesn't look super original like, but that's because she's not wonky. A lot of the original Cleo dolls were super big and wonky. And I'm just so excited for this doll. Like her clothes look perfect. Again, I have the 2015 Cleo and she's not doing it for me. I'm so, so, so excited for these dolls to drop y'all. Like I'm so ready. Like my money is counted and saved and the gift cards are there and I'm ready for the Amazon drops, links to drop. I think they're dropping in April or May or sometime soon. I'm just so excited for these reproductions, y'all. Um, I'm gonna be able to complete my first wave Monster High dolls, like the first wave with these dolls. Um, and I will probably be crying when these dolls show up in my mailbox or if they go in store or whatever the tea is with this release. Like once I get that Gulia and the Cleo and Deuce 2 pack, there will be tears. Y'all will be seeing me crying. I will probably be having a fit on Instagram. Like I'm just telling y'all now, like be prepared for plastic in springtime of 2024 because when I get my hands on Gulia and Cleo and Deuce 2 pack, like hell's gonna break loose and I don't even know like I can't even prepare myself or I can't even prepare y'all like if y'all thought getting Laguna Blue in 2022 was bad this is gonna be worse because I'm gonna have the entire line now and I'm not even ready for that because I'm not right I'm not ready for it and um I'm so excited I think again Cleo looks amazing Deuce looks amazing as well um and I'm really excited again for all the Deuce stuff I'm just like, it's very nostalgic I I'm talking in a circle I'm talking in a loop but um very very nostalgic I'm also excited to own Hissette and Perseus and uh, I'm so excited. I've been waiting for this moment for like my entire life. Like the fact that I'm going to be able to own the entire first wave of Monster High is crazy to me. And it's crazy that it took me this long too. Like I have all these dolls and I just have never completed the core wave of Monster High. And like that's psychotic to me. Like I can understand like that is crazy to me. Again, the prices have been crazy. But um, like that first picture, like I'm, I'm gonna put it on screen right now because that picture raised me. This is the reason I collect dolls is this picture alone. And I'm not even joking with you guys. Like the original wave of Monster High was like my tea as a kid and like ugh, so much feeling, so many feelings. And I'm so, so, so excited again. Very, very long rant to, to just say slay for all of them except Spectra. But um, I love the reproductions Loki. They're always so good. Actually, they're not always so good, but like the Monster High ones have been pretty much eating. I think they're always consistent with the Monster High reproductions, I want to say. I mean, we've only had the reproductions and now, now the second wave, um, and they've been pretty decent so far. So I'm really happy about that. The last thing from the Monster High alumni line is the Jennifer Fangvote doll. And oh my god, Annalise. You ate that. You ate that so bad. You ate that so bad. Like, you ate that left not a single crumb. This is the Jennifer 2024 Fango doll, and she is the one of the best Monster High Clutch dolls. Sorry, Annalise knows how to do things. She knows how to run the world. She knows how to run the meeting. She knows how to do things. Like, she knows things that a lot of these other girls don't know. Like, Annalise, like, you are that girl. I'm so sorry. I love this doll. I I think all the options, like, the whole Fango experience thing was kind of People are low-key annoying about it. People are always annoying about the Fang Vote stuff. Like, even, like, the Rochelle one, people were just like, Arr! and, like, that's just the Monster Act community in general. Like, no tea, no shade, but, like, some of y'all are annoying. But um, I'm pretty happy with the, the picks that we got. I didn't pick this hair, and I picked the other shoes. Um, but besides that, I think all my picks were kind of answered. I'm super happy with the stand. Um, again, I wish the, the hair was different, but um, I think it's gonna look good anyway. This doll is gonna be pretty. Um, this doll has such an amazing silhouette. She has such a unique silhouette for Monster High, and I feel like Annalise, again, really blended the, the, the fashion aspect, and, but also, like, she knows that it's Monster High, because Monster High has never really been a fashion doll brand. They've always kind of sometimes take influence from real-life trends and kind of made it Monster High, but not really. Monster High was always more character-driven. Monster High was always more themed. Monster High was always more of, like, a, you know, campiness. Um, but I feel like this kind of feels elevated. I feel like Annalise, she was also the designer of Vampire Heart Draculaura, and she, she feels not, again, not fashion forward, because Monster High was never, it is never really meant to be fashion forward, but it feels like if Monster High was fashion forward, I feel like even, like, the Monster High off-white dolls, they're not fashion forward. They're horribly dated fashions, but, like, this, the, these dolls, like, these, like, the fi Vampire Heart Draculaura and this Jennifer feel very classic. They feel like they're very timeless dolls, um, and I'm so, so happy. That we have a designer on the Monster High team who is not putting Monster High dolls in horribly fitting mermaid dresses, awfully tacky 80s inspired outfits, and just horribly made gowns and jumpsuits. Like, I think, again, I don't want to, like, do too much because, like, I can be annoying when I get, like, emotional about things. But, like, I truly, truly think that, like, 
this is like one of the most perfect monster high dolls from alumni in a, a while i don't think we've gotten an alumni i mean actually last year fall time annalise was doing her thing again but like this one is just perfect truly 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 amazing um it feels like a collector doll finally i feel like again for a while monster high wasn't really feeling collector um and this really feels it feels elevated it feels very exciting i'm actually very very happy again that they did not cho choose to do the lashes like the inserted lashes on the doll i do find that the monster high inset lashes or what are they the false lashes whatever they call them they always look weird on the monster high dolls i think monster high dolls look a lot better with just painted on eyebrow eyelashes um and i hope that they, they kind of kill off doing the the lash thing on the monster high dolls they don't really look too amazing i think jackie laura Daniel comic con one was the best one with the lashes but everyone before that has been kind of iffy um and I don't think we need the lashes anymore. I think, again, like, the painted on eyebrow or the lashes, again, just make them look more Monster High dolls. Um, and I'm ecstatic for this doll. I think, again, Annalise, I want you to be the head designer of Monster High because you are so talented. It's crazy. Um, so, yeah, I'm very, very excited about it. Uh, Jennifer, she was $90. I pre-ordered her a while ago. She's a made-to-order doll. I also want to say that really quickly, this is, like, the most calm experience when buying a monster high doll again i didn't really buy the rochelle one because i thought she was hideous i still think she's hideous but um i'm very 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 happy that this was a very calm one it was two weeks pre-order there was an issue though i think with international shipping they did fix it as of right now if i'm posting it i don't know when the, the shipping oh, wait is the order date going to be gone by the time this is posted I don't know, but internationally, right now, as i'm filming this you can still order jennifer across the nation so um Hopefully that, that, but that was an issue that happened for like a, a week where they weren't shipping internationally for Jennifer, but now they are, so she should be back up. But um, besides that issue, I think this was a pretty smooth one. The voting was easy to do. Um, I like that they really, again, showed us the doll in process instead of drawings. I think, again, last year's drawing thing was very, very confusing because like the colors didn't really match up with the actual doll. And like they didn't really show us the outfit. I'm happy that they showed us the outfit beforehand. I feel like this is a very, very, again, an elevated experience when it comes to voting for a doll. I loved seeing the doll kind of come together as we voted. So like when like the voting period would end, we would see the doll with the accessories that were chosen. And I think it kind of made it a lot easier for the community to kind of piece together a vision. I do think the vision, I wish the sh other shoes would have won, to be honest with you guys. I think the red kind of brings out attention in the wrong parts, especially with the shoes. But I'm still happy with this doll. I'm still so excited for her to come in my collection. I think she's going to come later this year. So hopefully that is true. But um, yeah, I'm very, 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 very happy with Jennifer. And um, I will end again this rant. But just saying a big slay for me. I'm so excited. Um, but getting into some G3 dolls. We have a lot of G3 stuff happening. I think well, we're going to start it off strong with Miss Caddy Noir. This is a signature doll. And we saw this leak um, a little bit ago. This is like a stock photo. And this doll's so cute. I love Caddy Noir. I've always, always, always loved Caddy Noir in G1. I loved her 13 Wishes doll. I love her new Scaremaster doll. I'm just a big Caddy Noir stan. I love a Papa Star. I love an Ariana Grande moment. And this doll is no exception. I will say her little bow sleeve thing is kind of stupid. I think it's kind of cheap looking. Um, I hate that bow sleeve motif. Like the silhouette, it looks bad on its Ultimate Secrets Cleo. It looks bad here. It looks very cheap. It looks unhemmed. It looks unfinished. And it looks like I want to chew it. So besides that, I think she looks amazing. I love, 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 love that we're getting more body diversity in Monster High. Not that I say that I was scared that they weren't going to give us more than just Draculaura, but it really, really, really makes me happy that even after all the drama that went through Draculaura's body type and her issues, or like not her issues, but like the community's issues with it, they kind of gave us more body representation. And I think it's really, really exciting. It's something that we don't really see. And I was thinking about this the other day, y'all. I was looking around my room and I'm like, there are really no dolls that are really that plus size. Because even Draculaura, her stomach's flat. Abby, her stomach's flat. Like, yes, they have thick thighs. Thick thighs, save thighs. You know that Lizzo song? But, um... Like, again, a lot of the dolls in my collection are very, very same body. So it's really, really cool that Monster High is continuing to give us more representation, especially when it's needed. I think this is such a cool thing. I, this is so cool. Like, one of my favorite brands giving us more diversity is so out of the world. And I don't even, like, care. Like, I don't know. I think it's going to be really, really important for kids. Um, and this doll is also just stunning. She's a pop star. She's she's big, but she's also so glamorous. I think Ma uh, Mattel in general has been very, very hard with giving us glamorous plus size characters. Like even the Barbie extra doll line, like some of the more glamorous ones. Like I have the one who's all pink. She has like the little pink thing. She's wearing sneakers. Why are y'all giving plus size girls sneakers? Like it was, it's horrible, but like she has a good heel on. I hope her, her foot is arched 
like the other girls have their arches because sometimes they also kind of do that thing where, like the big size of Barbie dolls like her heel isn't as arched and it bothers me so bad because it looks horrible um it's probably for proportions but I hope this diva has an arched foot um I hope she can kind of like share her shoes with everybody else and again I think the accessories are fine I think the dress is fine it's like a mini dress it's like whatever it's not like the biggest deal ever um, I think her face is perfect. I think her face is amazing. I'm excited for that, like, to the twists. Is it, like, I think it's a twist in a mix of Saran hair. Um, I can't really tell super well, but I think it's a mix of, like, twists, and then, like, there's hair. Um, so I'm so excited about this doll again. I love Katty Noir. I'm rambling. I'm sorry, but she's a big slay for me. I'm probably gonna own two of her. Um, I'm very, 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 very excited for this doll, and I'm excited for her character to come into G3. So... Slay from Miss Caddy Noir. We do also have some Monster High Core Refresh characters. So we have Laguna, Frankie, and Cleo um, filling in for Draculaura and Claudine. They came out last year. Let's start off with the one that everybody hates, and this is Frankie Stein. I'm gonna say something. I like this doll. I like Core Refresh Frankie. I don't know. Something about them is really fun. I don't think it's like the best Frankie Stein ever doll ever. I don't think this is like the best Monster High doll ever. I don't think this doll is reinventing the wheel. But I do think this doll is really, really, really cool and it's very experimental for Monster High. I love the black elements. I'm so sorry. I know there's like a whole parade of people who are like, I want Monster High to be pastel. <laughs> I want dark elements on monster dolls. <laughs> Let's wake that up. I want dark elements on monster themed dolls. I want dark colors on monster themed dolls. Um, nobody wants the dark colors anymore. And I love dark colors on dolls. I think it looks so fun. Um, and I think it, lo it works really well in this instance. I think Frankie's very seen. They're very fun. It's like, what do y'all want from Frankie Stein? Like, I think this is cool. I love the boots. I love like the one fishnet stocking that is very reminiscent of um Donna the Dance Cleo and I don't really know how I made that connection maybe because I'm looking at her right now but like I like that it's even on the same leg um I love the dark blue lipstick I love the dark makeup I love the pink in the hair what's there not to love I think the outfit's really good I love the shorts are kind of very high-waisted I wish we did something different with the pants but I like the jacket a lot I love the jacket and the um the top's cool too overall this doll is a hit for me I'm so sorry again people don't like this doll I don't know what there's so many fun things about this doll I think they're really cool again I think I might want to do something different with the hair I think the hair is looking a little bit flat to be honest I think I can definitely style it and like do something fun like maybe some a pullback or something I don't know but trust me, we're gonna give this diva a bang or something, but I am excited for Frankie Stein. Not the best one in the line when we have Cleo, who is their girlfriend, and <laughs> they have the same lipstick, y'all. Be who you are for your pride. Yeah, they ate the I like that they're sharing lipstick. The the the, the diva, they're sharing lipsticks. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think Cleo's amazing. I love this like high pony, half up, half down serving Arianka. I love the face, I love the outfit. There is not a single thing I can say about this doll that is bad. There is not a single thing that I can even understand this criticism over. Because there's not a single thing about this doll that's horrible. She's amazing. Like this is like a perfect top tier monster high doll. Like this is low-key, honestly, if I say this and y'all can't jump me might be a better design than the original Wave 1 G1 Cleo doll because she's just T. Like, her body's T, her face T, she get money, she's super thick, she's super pretty. I love the accessories in this doll as well. His set being the main Cleo pet is healing to me, that Anubis little rat dog thing. I hated it from the start, and I'm so happy that it's gone now. It better be gone for good. I want his set back full time, get her her job back, she's, t she's, she has the T, she's more fun, she's cuter, she's fiercer, she's, like, just better than that little cat thing, um, and I love, I love this Cleo so bad, like, I'm so sorry, like, I love the outfit, I love the everything, I love the little snake going up her shoe, I don't know what to tell y'all, this is a good Cleo doll, amazing, we also have Laguna, <laughs> what do y'all know about me, I love Laguna, this is a hit, this is a hit, 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 a hit, a hit, a hit, like a hit, like I'm telling y'all, like the space buns, the big pants, the mini t-shirt, like everything is good. People hate on this doll as well. I don't understand why. I think this doll, there might be, I think the pants, like the top of the pants, like there could be something more happening with the blue and maybe like a jacket would have been cool. Like a, like a reference to G1 with like the hood would have been fierce, but like I'm okay with this. Like I think this doll's cool. I think her accessories are kind of whatever. I love the, actually the monster, the G1 notebook crazy crazy y'all ate that um and yeah i think she's really fun i am excited i'm i'm so excited for this doll to get pre-ordered i'm very very excited for Corey fresh and i think they're all really amazing again i think frankie is kind of one of the weaker ones um just in terms of like the shorts are really stupid but um besides that i think the Corey fresh line overall has been a hit for me i am i love draculaura everybody hates draculaura now she's still that girl so um, I'm not gonna flip-flop on my opinion. I mean, I might flip-flop. I flip-flop on everything, but I'm really, really excited for these dolls. Um, they look to all have saran hair, which is 
a blessing. So, so excited for this style line. They're gonna eat it. Taking a break from some Monster High dolls, let's talk about the Monster High Castle playset thing that's coming out. This is allegedly two hundred dollars or like one hundred seventy-five dollars. It's it's over a hundred dollars, over a hundred fifty dollars, and no, we talked about this playset for like literally like a day when it first like the stock photo came out and I've not seen a single person talk about it since so it's kind of funny how this kind of just like fell off everyone's radar I find but I want to talk about it quickly because I I am a doll house consumer I love I have the rainbow high house I have the monster high house right behind there the g11 I used to I have a barbie house over there like a little one on my desk um and I used to have the monster high catacombs playset and I loved it when I was little and this one feels fun I don't know if I'm gonna buy it for $175. If I get this place out, it's gonna be on a heavy, heavy sale. Like I'm thinking like $50 a mall. Like I'm thinking sale season is when I'm gonna get this place out. I do want it. I do want it bad. I think it's a really cool display piece. The issue is I have no room and I have no space and I don't really, f again, think the money is really worth it for this, to be honest. It's very plasticky. Um, but it's a really cool playset, and I do love Monster High playsets. I'm very, very excited about this playset, to be honest with you guys. I'm excited for next year this time, when it's on sale, because, like, post-Christmas stuff, and like, that's gonna be my tea. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about this playset. I'm, I'm ecstatic about it. I'm, like, very, 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 um, I don't know, I'm excited about it. I think it's gonna be fun. I love playsets. Again, I have no room for it. <laughs> I'm gonna make room, though. Trust me. I don't know where. I do not know, like, I, I'm not even trying to be funny, like, I genuinely have no idea in my room where I would put this place at, but I, I want it, so I'm putting out in the universe that well, there will be room for it someday, but, um, I guess, like, speaking of things that I don't have room for, let's talk about Monster Fest, so I want to honestly start off with Draculaura, because I think she's the worst one, and I think she's the newest one that we've first seen, I'll get into the other four in a minute, but I think Draculaura is crazy, so she comes with, like, this bus place at, Somebody told me this set was gonna be $60 USD, and that's a little bit funny. Um, looking at the picture that's on screen, it looks like the G2 bus playset. Like, the colors are, like, look... Maybe I'm, again, I'm from just memory, this looks like exactly like the Monster High G2 playset, and I kind of am getting flashbacks from that. Um, the play... Like, a lot of the accessories also on the set are unpainted and very confusing. So, like, as, like, a playset and a playset doll, I'm very, like, whatever about it. I don't even, like doll vehicles like I don't know why I have like the road like I have a couple doll vehicles and like I just don't care I don't care about cars in real life either so like maybe that's the tea but like I really don't care about the the bus to be honest with you guys I think the bus is gonna be fun I think if it opens up and it's like a stage so it could be like a really cool like playset piece and it could be a really cool display piece but um this is gonna be a hard sell for me um I think Draculaura the doll trying to zoom in on her she's kind of mid a little bit like I mean Draculaura a lot of her dolls are kind of like flat it's really kind of flat line to me sometimes um i think the base doll is actually stunning i think her makeup is amazing and i love the cowboy boots i'm very confused on the outfit and what's happening with it the unpainted flower detail headband thing is oh god it kind of it's not amazing and i don't really care for the outfit the outfit's just very like meh. um i do think the, the base doll is stunning and i would want this playset for her but um there's no way i'm spending anywhere near Anything more than, like, $30 is, am I, is, am I gonna get, like, being crazy? Like, I might be delusional for that, but, like, I think this is, like, a place that, like, I have to get, like, 50% off at the very least. Like, I can only really see myself enjoying from this set the Draculaura doll, and I'm talking about the base doll and the base the shoes. And that's really it, I think, again, maybe for the kids this will be fun, but, um, I think it's also kind of sad that a lot of the pieces aren't painted. They look very cheap. They look dollar store. Um... And, I don't know, kind of sad, because, especially in comparison to the rest of the Monster Ball dolls, these dolls are amazing. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go in Shong, we're going in with Laguna, because she's the best doll ever. Monster Ball, no, Monster Fest Laguna, I'm telling you guys, I'm gonna own at least five of her. I don't even think I'm joking either, like, I'm being very, 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 very serious when I say, this is one of the best Generation 3 dolls of all, of anyone's existence, like, from my point of view, as a plastic I don't know, as a Laguna Nation defender, Laguna Nation stand, whatever, she's amazing. She is literally so good. I, I love the dark elements along with the really fun pastels of the shoes. I love the socks. I love the little pearl things. This outfit is amazing. The hair is amazing. The mug is so good. It's a Laguna with a side eye. A Laguna with a side eye. My, like, someone has been listening to my thoughts and my feelings. I'm excited. I've been wanting a side eye to Laguna for a while, and I think... They've answered my calls, finally. This doll is just perfect. I don't even know, like, what to, to say anymore. Everything about this doll is perfect. I don't have a single note on this doll. She literally looks... I wish the... Actually, I wish the 
the belt was painted more but besides that she looks amazing i'm so excited about this lagoon at all like Again, I don't really know what to say because she's just perfect. Like, she's amazing. One who's not as amazing is Frankie Stein from this line. Their pants are crazy, but I... And, okay, that was a slight. Laguna was a slight. This is also a slight. I think Frankie's fun. I think Frankie's a base doll is really, really cool. I think they're very fun. I like the plastic glove. I wish the gloves were Loki painted on. Is that... Am I allowed to say that? Will I get, like, people, like, harassing me? I hate, more like, plastic gloves. I think they kind of look stupid a lot of the times. They're very thick. And I wish that we just went back to, like, the G1 roots of, like, painting gloves on... Because, like, the rubber gloves, like, just make things awkward. I can tell y'all right now, like, this doll's going to be an issue to hold things. The the rubber is going to bother me. And I'm just not going to enjoy the glove things on this doll. But besides that, again, I think the pants are very Barbie Extra-like. I think the pants are going to be replaced by a Bratz mini skirt, if I'm going to be honest with you guys right now. These pants are probably not going to stay on my doll. I also wish the belt was a little bit more painted and a little bit more detailed. Um, It just, like, clashes of plastic. But besides that, like, the base doll, the ba Frank with the bang... Like, they list, like they, they're they listening to me. Somebody out there is listening to me. Because what do you mean this doll has crazy cool makeup, a bang, saran hair, and a really fun top? Like, okay, I'm getting down to it. I like this Frankie. I think this Frankie's fun. Um, And I'm, I'll be buying. I don't think I'll be buying immediately. Like, this is probably a doll like I can wait for, like, a sale, to be honest with you guys. But I am very, very excited for this doll. We also have their girlfriend along. Cleo! Cleo, 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 Cleo. Really rule this world case you haven't heard. Cleo's fun. I think Cleo's really, really cool as well. Again, stunning base doll. 40 inch metal parted. He got all my picks hearted. I love like this like like little like cape. Not Is it a cape? It's like a jacket. I love it. I love it. Like, I don't even mind that her belt's unpainted low-key because I think it works for her. The capris are a little bit questionable, but the shoes make up for it. So like I'm okay with it. Mug is also insanely cool um and it kind of honestly i don't even mind the capris because they look you remind me of g1 like her core doll for that so like i don't know i'm excited about this doll as well i think this whole line is really cool and i love this cleo we're also saving another really really good one for last this is claudine she might be my favorite claudine doll from g3 and it's very very hard because i've been really really heavily into monster ball claudine like that's been my favorite but like this one's exciting i think this one does she have a different side she might have a different side glance which is exciting because We've been, had this, yeah, I think she's, she's looking a different way, which I'm excited about. Um, she's also insanely crazy. Like, the shoe game, we're back a little bit. We're back, we're getting there, we're getting back with the shoe game. We're not there yet, but we're getting there. The shoe game goes crazy. I love the fur on the shoes. <laughs> you, you ate that monster high. Um, the, the, the outfit's good too. The outfit's amazing. I don't know. I feel like people don't like this doll. I think there's been a little bit of, um, Kiki in about it. I think this outfit's good. It's very, it feels like 2014 Coachella in the best way possible. Like it feels like dated, but I don't mind that it feels dated because it feels exciting. It feels like cool. I don't know. Like I just think this is really cool. I think this design is perfect. I don't think, again, I have any notes. I don't really mind that her belt's not painted either. It's kind of a small belt that really works for her. Yeah. Monster Fest is a pretty good line. Besides Dracula kind of being a miss and Frankie being like half a miss, this line seems really, really polished. Um, I think Dracula is just kind of suffering from being a playset doll. Um, and I wish he wasn't a playset doll. I low-key wish they just didn't make a playset or I wish they made the playset as like its own thing and they made Dracula again, a standout doll. So she got more budget. She got more time. Because I think Dracula's concept and her idea of like what she could have been could have gone so much farther than just cowboy boots, mini skirt, and like stupid flower crown. Like I think she could have been a lot better. But again, so excited for this line. Like, I think Claudine and Laguna are my top two. And then, like, I think it goes Cleo, Frankie, and Draculaura. So, so excited for Monster Fest. They're all of us slay. All of us slay, but Draculaura. So, I guess that's where I'm at. I also quickly want to talk about the Monster High Polly Pocket thing. This is fun. This is, like, random Monster High merch. This is something that I would get maybe if I found it, like, in person, like, a Ross or something. People are losing their minds over this, though. This is, like, $20. And I think it's kind of crazy how much ex how expensive that is for, like, these little itty-bitty figures. They're fine. But they're not something that I'd go after. So, that's my thoughts. Those are my feelings on the Monster High X Poly Pocket thing that's happening. Like, they're cute. I don't collect Polly Pocket, though. So, uh, I don't know if I, again, have any f purpose for these. But I think these would be cool to keep in box low-key. Because I love random Monster High merch. Like, I love random doll merch like trust me like i love random doll merch like, I, I think it's just so fun so silly um and i would definitely you know pick this up but i don't know if i'd like buy it online you know like it would be something i found in person like i'd buy it then you know
And the last thing that we have to talk about in the Slayer Nay is Miss Cleo Denial and her vanity set. This was low-key a really big disappointment for me, to be honest. I find the playset is really, really boring. It's kind of very simple. I mean, it is very pretty, but it's just kind of fine. The the doll herself is stunning. I love the, the long hair, the long hair, the really gorgeous makeup. The outfit is very basic. It's the the the, the fabric on the top is cheap and sad. The skirt looks good. But all the accessories and all the shoes and all the jewelry is just re not re it's re painted, unpainted, re sculpts of things. Like this is mainly Skultimate Secrets earrings. We have the Fabulous Pets shoes. We have just a lot of reused stuff. And I think it's kind. I mean, it's a playset doll. It's I think I have no idea where this is gonna be sold. I have no idea if this is gonna be like a Target thing or like a Macy's thing or a Ross thing or whatever this is made for. Um, I'm definitely excited to get it when I get my hands on it when I have the ability to find it. I have no idea how much it costs, so I can't really judge it too much on that, but um, I'm definitely a little bit disappointed by this. I thought that this vanity would be a lot more fun, specifically compared to her G1 vanity. Her G1 vanity was amazing. It was super elaborate. It was super intricate, and it was really, really cool, and this one just kind of feels like a mirror, a table, and like a chair. Like, yeah, there's some like fun like little snake elements, and there's some little da da da, -da there, but like it's not crazy to me. It's nothing that I'd really spend so much time worrying about getting. Again, I think the base doll is really, really pretty. But um, it's just kind of okay for me. But that and I think so. That's like kind of like it's like a it's like a mid. I don't know if I would buy it. Like if I wasn't a monster eye completionist like I am, I would not buy it. But because I am crazy, and if I have the money and if I have the space and I have the time to get it, I would. Um, but it's nothing that I'm losing my mind over. I think it's kind of just mid. But that was kind of my. Slayer Nay type of video for today. Again, um, getting back into this was kind of fun. I think I love talking about dolls, specifically Monster High. If you sat through my long-winded rants about how excited I am, um, thank you guys for watching. It was really, really fun to just kind of chat with you guys. But now it's time to cause I kind of get your thoughts and all of your feelings on the dolls that we talked about and cool chatted about today. How are y'all feeling about these dolls? Do you guys want any of these dolls? Do you guys not like any of these dolls? Are there any dolls that I liked that you didn't like or any that are there any dolls that you liked? that you liked that I didn't like or I didn't like and you liked, just let me know in the comments below because I want to chat with you guys there. I'm dying to hear all of your thoughts and feelings. And if you say anything negative about Monster Fest Laguna, I'm going to be blocking you. So, glad we could clear that up now. <laughs> JK, Avi. But again, I can't wait to catch all though in the comments and I cannot wait to catch all though in the next video. I love you guys all endlessly and I'll see you very, very soon. Love y'all. Bye. Bye, everybody.